that's how I'm feeling. <laughs> Hey Stitch Gang, welcome or welcome back to another Slate with Stitchy. So in today's video, we will be getting ready. I'm actually going on a date with my best friend, so I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my makeup very quickly, because y'all know, always on a time crunch. And I'm also going to be showing you guys my outfit and sharing the fragrance that I'm going to be wearing for today. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. Before we start this video off, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe down below. Leave this video a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friend once you're finished watching it in its entirety. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop it down below. And before I forget, before you forget, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at The Stitch Life as well to keep up with me on and off of YouTube. So let's go ahead and dive right into it because I don't know what that was. <laughs> but yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into it because I've got places to be and people to see. I just put on some of my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask because I actually forgot to do that once I did my skincare routine. Brows are done, edges are done because we really need to get right into it. So for today, I'm going to be using powder foundation just because whatever I'm crunched for time, that's like the best way to go. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. But before we get into any foundation, I'm going to prime my skin. Priming with the Supergroup Unseen Sunscreen. This is Bay, and it's a two-in-one. It is sunscreen, but it's also a primer. So that's what I'm gonna go in with. And I'm just gonna go ahead and prime. Bring it down onto my neck as well. It is currently 11, oh, it's 11.40 now. Really gonna try to do this in 20 minutes. My outfit is kind of already picked out, but once you put stuff on, you might make minor changes, so I'll see. And I'm also gonna see if I could try to take a picture today because listen, every time I put on something cute and I'm somewhere nice, I'm trying to get a picture in. I never wanna waste an outfit, and at this point, I'm very inconsistent on my Instagram feed. That doesn't mean you shouldn't still follow me. I haven't posted since Houston, okay? Also going in with the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. I recently picked up this set and it included the Milk Hydro Grip Primer as well. So I'm just gonna prep my skin with that too, just so the skin is ready to receive all of the makeup. And then whenever I'm just doing powder foundation, all I do is conceal the areas that I would normally conceal which is underneath my eye, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my chin, and that's really it. I'm just gonna put my concealer down, let it set. I'm using all of my Holy Grail products, so if I don't mention the product, it's gonna be, everything is gonna be listed down below, just so you know. But this is the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cream contour wherever I normally would. Now, if I'm wearing actual liquid foundation, I would do this after applying my foundation, but I'm wearing powder foundation, so all of my cream and liquid products need to be applied before I put down any powder product because you don't want it to start looking cakey and patchy and all that stuff, so I make sure I put everything down beforehand. So that's how we're looking. So now it's time for me to blend out my contour, so that's what I'm gonna do, but I'm using my sponge to blend out my cream product. I'm bouncing, same with my forehead. And I'm just blending it out to the best of my ability, as you can see. Oh, okay, lighting. Blend, 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 blend. And then I'm gonna flip my sponge and go ahead and blend out my concealer. I like to do the contour first because this concealer performs best when it's dried down a bit. So that's why I do my contour first. I'm just gonna blend this right out underneath my eyes. And then I'm gonna take whatever's left on the sponge and bring it on my actual eyelid. Right now, it's 11.45, so I'm almost finished blending out my contour and my concealer, and it's only been five minutes. I feel like it's a lot harder. It can sometimes be a little bit harder to do this when you have your liquid foundation down already because you wanna make sure you're blending that into the foundation, but it's just a little bit easier to 
make everything look blended when you use a powder foundation and especially when you're crunched for time you don't have the time to do all that extreme blending uh, this is the best way to go well this is what this is what's been working for me I'll just do that I'm flipping the sponge again to where what to the side that I use to contour and I'm just going over the edges just to make sure the two are blended nicely is that a hair from my forehead yes So this is how the face is looking. We look a little crazy, but you see we got the highlight going. I'm now gonna go in with my liquid blush. You could either use liquid or cream blush at this point, or you could just wait until you apply your powder foundation and then go in with powder, brush, powder blush. But I'm using the liquid blush. This one's from Rare Beauty. I'm just going to apply it underneath. This might look like a lot, but it is. <laughs> but <laughs> once you blend it out and put your foundation on top, everything will be just fine. So I'm using another side of the sponge, clean side. This is why I like using the sponge for this process as well because you don't have to dirty a million brushes to just to get the job done. And you see, it melts down there right into the skin. Blended side unblended side and you could definitely wait for it to dry down a little bit more too but listen <laughs> time crunch time crunch honey time crunch <laughs> that's how it looks and then you can always go in with the contour side and just make sure everything looks as good as you'd like it to look so I think that looks pretty good what I'm going to do now is set with the powder this is the Laura Mercier honey translucent and this is my favorite at the moment it's been my favorite so I'm just gonna dust some out in the top I'm gonna use the side of the sponge that I use for my concealer go back underneath my eyes and blend out concealer a little bit a little bit more just in case it started to crease and on top of my lids and then I'm going to set I'm just pressing it in I'm dusting it off and then pressing it in. And then I'm using whatever excess that I have on the sponge and just putting it on my eyelids just so that we can set that area as well. And I'm just going back and pressing everything in. I'm not dusting anything away, I'm literally just pressing it in because I want that powder to stay underneath my eyes and on my forehead and on my eyelids mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes trust me I know we look crazy okay it is now time for foundation I'm going to be using my Lancome dual finish powder versatile powder foundation I have the shade 510 suede C now back oh maybe like a year ago I tried the Teens Idol foundation in the shade 500 and that was just way too light for me so I bought this one on a whim but it actually works great so I'm just gonna go ahead and tap a flat head brush into the powder foundation and I'm going to press it everywhere I'm gonna press it over my entire face just as you would a liquid foundation. You don't wanna neglect any areas. Take a minute to look at the face. Don't look at this bro, I gotta blend that out. But. Would you have known that I did my contour and concealer first? No, right? Okay, love that for us. Now I'm gonna be going in with my bronzer because I did not set my cream contour and I'm using the Sephora one, Ibiza. And I'm just going to go ahead and bronze where I normally would. Whoa, went a little crazy right there. Don't worry, we'll fix it. Go back with my powder foundation brush. 
and blend down. If anything looks harsh, you just go back with your powder, your foundation brush and just work around it. Work around it, girl. Work around it. This looked a little harsh. That's how I'm feeling. <laughs> Snatched, okay? Now I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. When I, every time I say this, I'm like, you guys could have chosen a better name for this. And I'm going in with a powder brush and I'm just going to buff this product all over my face. The time is now 11.55. The goal is to be almost done by 12. So I think, so I think we're doing good with timing at the moment. What do you think? Now I'm gonna go in with my LYS Aim High Pressed Highlighter Powder in Genuine Rose. So who did I see? Oh, I think I watched my sis Tyra's video the other day and she was talking about this highlighter and I'm like, wait a minute, didn't I buy that? When I tell you guys I bought so many things that I can't even keep track of the items that I've... Not right now. No. That's not, that's not what we're doing. Not today. But I've purchased so many items that I can't even keep track of the items that I've purchased. So I pulled this bad boy out today to try with you guys and let's just see what it gives. She is real cute. Use code LYS Life. My code changes because that's just how the ambassador program is. But always check the description box. I'll have it linked for you guys if I don't put it up on the screen. Right now the code is LYS Stush Life. So make sure you guys use my code if you guys are interested in purchasing. <laughs> That should have sold you already. If you guys are interested in purchasing anything from LYS Beauty, black, clean, gluten-free, cruelty-free, um, what else? Vegan beauty brand, okay. Yeah, the highlighter is really cute, like really cute. Definitely check it out. This is the rose gold shade. If I haven't already stated that. But face, face is looking really good if I do say so myself. Face is also pretty much done, right? I just need to apply my lashes and my lippy. And I might dust a little bit of bronzer in my crease. And I'm lazy, so I'm not even gonna get an actual brush. I'm gonna use the brush that I used earlier and just dust it into my crease, my bronzer brush. Okay, hack. I am not a fan of washing makeup brushes, sis, so. <laughs> We're gonna do what we need to do. Voila, magic. <laughs> Before things start to move around, let's go ahead and set with the Milk Hydro Grip Refresh Spray. Do I like the mist on this? Yes, but I feel like you need to be legit like feet away. So. Yeah, it's nice. It's a cool little shower though, I will say that. I'm just gonna pat it in with the clean side of my sponge. Let's just see how it holds up throughout the day. I think the skin looks like butter, baby. What do you think? What do you think? All right, I'm chatting now. Hold tight, please hold. Oh my gosh, you guys, my nose wants to start sweating so badly, but she's holding it down. I'm making her hold it down. But the other day I found out what it is called when you have excessive sweating for no reason on a particular part of your body. It is called hydrotrosis, I believe. Hopefully, that's right. I'll put it up on the screen because someone told me about it and I was like, oh, I didn't even know this was a thing. She said, yeah, it doesn't matter regardless of the um, environment or the temperature. But yeah, this is apparently a thing. Um, I'm happy it's not just me, but lip combo because that's what we're focused on. I already applied my molasses lip liner from Sephora. Now I'm going in with this Lancome Lippy. This is 112 Mars. It's a cream lipstick. We're on a Lancome kick, so might as well continue with it. And I'm just going to apply that. Oh. I low-key have a vision. Let's see if it works in my favor. Let's see if it works out. This is the Morphe Lip Gloss. I picked this up when I was in, da in why do I keep saying Dallas? I picked this up when I was in Texas, girl. Every time I go on a vacation, I forget where I go. In my mind, I went somewhere else, so I keep saying another place. Like when I went to DR, I kept saying I went to Mexico. Like, I don't know what, what's wrong with me. But um, this is the color Flower Crown. I tried it yesterday, it was really nice. So let's see if I could create a little combo. Let me see. That is cute. Oh, 
baby. I kind of want to top it off with my Patrick tie. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. It is 12.10, by the way. What's this, 30 minute face? I was technically done at 55, so I say 25 minute face. That the one, that is the one. That is the one, wow. Morphe Flower Crown, Lancome Mars, Patrick Ta, she's expensive. Face is done. Let me start myself out real quick. I'll show you guys my outfit and fragrance and we can do that. So don't mind the quality of the cam, but I have this ensemble right now. I'm just trying to figure out if I want to wear my Converse's or my Tim's, but jacket is from Nasty Guy. I got it some years ago. Turtleneck is actually coming from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And these cargos are coming from Zara. And then you already know what this is. So I might wear my pink tail fleecy or my red tail fleecy with either one of these. So yeah, I don't know. I feel like the red will go better with this one. And I could do either the pink or red with this. Guys, I'm back and I'm ready. I'm going to try not to do too much movement because... Do you hear that? My jacket is kind of like a faux leather material. So if I do too much movement, that's what you're going to hear. But I guess we'll talk about what I have on my head first. <laughs> I like, kind of like lost my train of thought for a second but these shades are coming from desi this is the backtrack pair the blue frame with the brown lens um and then for jewelry i'm actually just wearing some of my rings from shein except for this one this one is coming from jariatu jewels black owned business but the initial rings are from shein the only thing that i don't like is that the b is a little bit the b is more of like a yellow gold that's the only thing that i don't like so i put them on two different hands so that it's not that noticeable All right and then fragrance today i'm excited about this pair fragrance today is going to oh girl almost <laughs> dropped it fragrance today is going to be my killian princess fragrance mixed with my ysl black opium fragrance these two together just gonna be a match made in heaven because the killian has like marshmallow notes and then this one has the black coffee and vanilla it's gonna be a tea Oh yes, so yeah, that's it. I decided to change my bag. I'm gonna bring my gold Telfar and my gold small Telfar. I still have to pack it and this is basically the outfit. So if I take any pictures, I will definitely insert them here or if I get a little video, I'll go ahead and insert it here. But this is the end of this video. Let me not move too much. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video, this get ready with me featuring makeup, featuring fragrance and outfit. If you guys enjoy videos like this, let me know down below so that way I can continue to produce content like this for you guys. Before you head out, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below, leave this video a big thumbs up, share this video with one of your friends, okay? Follow me on Instagram at The Stitch Life and make sure your post notifications are also turned on so that way you don't miss out on any of my other content. And until next time, until next video, thank you guys again for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye!